كبير في مدينة نوى بالصواريخ الله أكبر The Syrian conflict has now raged for more than three years. Much of the suffering has been caused by explosive weapons like rockets and aerial bombs. In November 2013, Action on Armed Violence went to Lebanon to meet with Syrian refugees who had fallen victim to these weapons. <laughs> نحن أول قذيفة إجت إجت كيف قذيفة ضرب الخزانات والمزوت والماء فنزلوا فطلعنا لبرا نحن فوق على السطح نهارنا مش عارف نشوف طلعنا لبرا أساس نعيف قال له بدي عيطه بيتعم فوق إنه خطر صار يزل له العالم هو وقف برا بيش نوع من الحوض حوض السياح أم عيد أم توقف Seventeen-year-old Mulham was in a coma for six weeks following his injury in late 2011. His family were told not to expect him to survive. Two years later, Mulham still needs specialist physiotherapy as he continues to recover movement in his arms and his legs. Thousands of Syrians like him live with the lifelong consequences of explosive weapons. I'm Janine Di Giovanni. I'm the Middle East editor of Newsweek. Uh, I'm reporting the Syrian war. One thing that's very tragic to me is the effect of the war on civilians, in particular their injuries and their, the damage to their life and their lifestyle because of explosive weapons. The other effect of it is the psychological damage, of course, that constant shelling, mortars, rockets, cluster bombs has on their psyche and also on the destruction of society because ultimately it terrorizes a population as well as just shredding it from the inside out so that every institution in Syria has been dismantled. Healthcare, education, civil society. So that you see really people that are very desperate. Civilians are more likely to be injured than killed by explosive weapons. The physical and psychological harm caused by these weapons often has a lifelong impact. Many people lose limbs, their vision or hearing, or like Mulham have shell fragments still embedded in their bodies. And crucially, so many are scarred not only physically, but emotionally too. The public health care system in Lebanon cannot cope with the medical needs of over a million refugees now in the country. Doctors describe horrific injuries and how difficult they are to treat. These are injuries that can require multiple operations and costly physical therapy over many months. The medical staff in Lebanon are in many cases overwhelmed and reaching crisis point. They are not only treating the wounded who cross the border, but those of chronic health needs who have also been driven from their homes in Syria by shelling and airstrikes. The bombs still fall in the streets of Syria. Explosive weapons have killed more civilians during the conflict than any other weapon type but there are thousands more who are the victims of these weapons who have had their lives torn apart by a bomb that fell on their home or by the steady mortar fire that made it too perilous to stay behind. Syrians in Lebanon are still feeling the shock waves of explosive violence and for many those shock waves will echo for a lifetime.